little trip back to the wild 70s. Customizing your Corvette was the coolest thing to do. And I happen to have access to a piece of that history. And if you're interested, you could too. A man I know is going to sell his 1975 Corvette station wagon. That's right, Corvette station wagon. This is a really rare piece of 70s history, and it's for sale. So, let's go check it out. Before we begin, I thought we would take a quick history lesson on the Corvette station wagon. The 70s were kind of wild, with a lot of crazy paint jobs and wild modifications. Some Corvette owners really went to work on personalizing their Corvette. Possibly the most modified bed in Corvette history was from the 1978 movie Corvette Summer with Mark Hamill. This movie actually got terrible reviews, but it's a really fun movie to watch and I highly recommend it. Throughout this heyday for Corvette customizing came the Corvette Station Wagon. Supposedly it was created for a drummer that needed extra space to haul his drums, and the infamous Chuck Miller took on the job. Ecklers provided the Miller kit for the 68 through 73 Corvette. It had the option of with or without side windows, with the incredible price of $500 for a piece that just went on top of the fenders, or $700 for a complete rear end piece. These were prices from the 1976 Eckler's catalog. When the Corvette lost the chrome bumper in 1974, the infamous John and Burt Greenwood took on the task of improving the Miller design for the new rubber bumper Corvette. The Greenwood edition had side windows that formed with the roof line and also had an operable rear hatch. The Greenwoods only built one of the Corvette sports wagons, but a little over two dozen kits were sold to the public. How many of them are still around? Well, here's one of them. Nineteen seventy five Corvette Greenwood Sports Wagon. As you can see this car has an Eckler's tilt front end which was purchased at the same time as the Greenwood Sports Wagon Kit was in 1979. The car was bought in 1978 and the man that owned it said he didn't want his car to look like everyone else's so that's why he did all these modifications to it. As you can see it's a very 70s paint job with that gold. There's gold on the hood scoop, the gold on those back bumpers there, the pinstriping all the way around with little Chevy emblems at the end of the stripes. You can see where the hood's opened up. There's a little gold painted there where you can only see when the hood is up. It's a, it's a nice job. I also like to say that this was not done in someone's garage. The kit was put on at a place called DNA Corvettes, which is a place that does Corvette restorations. That's actually all they do from the frame up. And it costs a lot of money to get a car done there. So this, as you can tell, was put together correctly. They did a good job. It's a 350 engine. It's got a three-quarter cam. You'll hear it run a little bit. You can hear that cam. It also has a big block radiator. The interior is all out of a 1979 Corvette that only had 3,000 miles on it when he purchased it. Um, as you can tell, they did a really good job putting that in as well. And the entire car, the, the wiring in this car is out, also out of the 79 Corvette because they also put this four speed in there, took the automatic out and put a four speed in. And as you can see, they did a really nice job. Everything's in there really nice. It all looks good. The wheels, all around the headlights, you can see the gold is painted around those headlights too. But the wheels are aftermarket wheels, but they're deep dish. They um, were made to fit a Corvette, so there's no spacers. This also has the front and rear suspension were rebuilt. It has 370 gears in the rear end. And the car has really been gone through from front to back. I mean, the guy is, he registered it as a show car back in the day, back in 79 when he did all this. And it's basically only been driven to shows and to the drive in and to a few other places. It's not. The car, as he says, has never seen rain. It's always been inside. Here you can hear that cam.
So if you're interested in purchasing this 1975 Corvette Sports Wagon, the Greenwood Edition, please contact me through the website at c3stingray.com.